brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Metallica Metallica is an American heavy metal band based in San Rafael, California. The band was formed in 1981 in Los Angeles when vocalist, guitarist James Hetfield responded to an advertisement posted by drummer Lars Ulrich in a local newspaper. Metallica's current lineup comprises founding members Hetfield and Ulrich, longtime lead guitarist Kirk Hammett and bassist Robert Trujillo, guitarist Dave Mustaine, and bassists Ron McGovney, Cliff Burton and Jason Newstead, former members of the band. The band's fast tempos, instrumentals, and aggressive musicianship placed them as one of the founding, big four, bands of thrash metal. Alongside Megadeth, Anthrax and Slayer, Metallica earned a growing fan base in the underground music community and won critical acclaim with its first four albums. The third album, Master of Puppets, was described as one of the most influential and heaviest of thrash metal albums. The band expanded its musical direction and achieved substantial commercial success with its eponymous fifth album, Metallica which resulted in an album that appealed to a more mainstream audience. The album was also their first to debut at number one on the Billboard 200, a success that they also achieved on their following five studio albums. In 2000, Metallica joined with other artists who filed a lawsuit against Napster for sharing the band's copyright-protected material without consent from the band. A settlement was reached and Napster became a pay-to-use service. The release of Saint Anger alienated fans with the exclusion of guitar solos and the steel-sounding snare drum, and a film titled Some Kind of Monster documented the recording of Saint Anger, and the tensions within the band during that time. The band returned to its original musical style. With the release of Death Magnetic, and in 2009, Metallica was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. After touring for most of the next eight years, the band followed up with a double album Hardwired to Self-Destruct, which demonstrated examples from some of the different musical styles that the band has dabbled in throughout its career. To promote the album, the band released music videos for all 13 new songs on the deluxe edition of the album prior to the album's release. The band had only released 26 music videos in the career. Metallica has released 10 studio albums, 4 live albums, 5 extended plays, 39 music videos, and 37 singles. The band has won 8 Grammy Awards and six of its albums have consecutively debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. The band's eponymous 1991 album has sold over 16 million copies in the United States, making it the best-selling album of the Soundscan era. Metallica ranks as one of the most commercially successful bands of all time, having sold over 150 million records worldwide. Metallica has been listed as one of the greatest artists of all time by many magazines, including Rolling Stone, which ranked them 61st on its list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. As of January 2016, Metallica is the third best-selling music artist since Nielsen Soundscan began tracking sales in 1991. Selling a total of 59.12 million albums in the US, Metallica collaborated over a long period with producer Bob Rock, who produced four of the band's studio albums between 1990 and 2003, and served as a temporary bassist during the production of Saint Anger. In 2012, Metallica formed the independent record label Black and Recordings and took full ownership of its albums and videos. The band is currently touring to promote Hardwired to Self-Destruct, which was released on November 18, 2016.
formation and early years 1981-1982. Metallica was formed in Los Angeles, California, in late 1981, when Danish-born drummer Lars Ulrich placed an advertisement in a Los Angeles newspaper. The Recycler, which read, drummer looking for other metal musicians to jam with Tigers of Pantang, Diamond Head and Iron Maiden, guitarists James Hetfield, and Hugh Tanner of Leather Charm answered the advertisement. Although he had not formed a band, Ulrich asked Metal Blade Records founder Brian Slagle if he could record a song for the label's upcoming compilation album, Metal Massacre. Slagle accepted, and Ulrich recruited Hetfield to sing and play rhythm guitar. The band was officially formed in October 1981, five months after Ulrich and Hetfield first met. Ulrich talked to his friend Ron Quintana, who was brainstorming names for a fanzine. Quintana had proposed the names Metalmania and Metallica. Ulrich named his band Metallica. A second advertisement was placed in the Recycler for a position as lead guitarist. Dave Mustaine answered, Ulrich, and Hetfield recruited him after seeing his expensive guitar equipment. In early 1982, Metallica recorded its first original song, Hit the Lights. For the Metal Massacre I compilation, Hetfield played bass on the song, and Lloyd Grant was credited with a guitar solo. Metal Massacre I was released on June 14, 1982. Early pressings listed the band incorrectly as, Metallica. Although angered by the error, Metallica created enough buzz with the song, and the band played its first live performance on March 14, 1982, at Radio City in Anaheim, California, with newly recruited bassist Ron McGovney. The band's first taste of live success came early, they were chosen to open for British heavy metal band Saxon at one gig of the 1982 US tour. This was Metallica's second gig. Metallica recorded its first demo, Power Metal, whose name was inspired by Quintana's early business cards in early 1982. The term, Thrash Metal, was coined by Kerrang! journalist Malcolm Dome in reference to Anthrax's song, Metal Thrashing Mad, in Kerrang! issue 62, published on February 23, 1984. Prior to this, James Hetfield referred to Metallica's sound as power metal. In late 1982, Ulrich and Hetfield attended a show at the West Hollywood nightclub Whiskey A Go Go, which featured bassist Cliff Burton in a band named Trauma. The two were blown away by Burton's use of a wah-wah pedal and asked him to join Metallica. Hetfield and Mustaine wanted McGovney to leave because they thought he didn't contribute anything. He just followed, although Burton initially declined the offer by the end of the year. He had accepted on the condition the band moved to El Cerrito in the San Francisco Bay Area. Metallica's first live performance with Burton was at the nightclub The Stone in March 1983 and the first recording to feature Burton was the Megaforce demo. Metallica was ready to record their debut album, but when Metal Blade was unable to cover the cost, the band began looking for other options. Concert promoter Johnny Z. Zazula, who had heard the demo No Life Till Leather, offered to broker a record deal between Metallica and New York City-based record labels. After those record labels showed no interest, Zazula borrowed enough money to cover the recording budget and signed Metallica to his own label, Megaforce Records. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.